Hi guys, I've teamed up with Kerrygold to bring you a brilliant back to basics series filled with what I consider to be those essential home cooking recipes. From some buttery sweet treats, to epic bakes, and some serious comfort food. I've got you covered. Let's get cooking. I am obsessed with salted caramel sauce. Who isn't? It is delicious over ice cream, beautiful over sticky toffee pudding, or you can eat it alone in a jar with a spoon if you so wish. But you don't have to do that because I have a recipe for you. A beautiful butterscotch pudding with a delicious bit of creme fraiche over the top and then drizzled with that salted caramel. It is gonna be so tasty. My coarse salted caramel sauce is a bit of a cheats one because all the ingredients go in at once. So we've got some Kerrygold butter going straight into the pan. This gets melted down with some dark brown sugar, which is gonna give you that lovely toffee finish on this salted caramel sauce. I'm also gonna add some golden syrup, and if you don't have this, some corn syrup will do the job. So on with some heat, and let's get melting. As soon as that sugar has dissolved and the butter has melted all the way down, you'll notice that it starts to bubble up and look quite vicious. But we're gonna add in cream at this point. It will spit and bubble, but stick with it. So straight in there with the cream. Ooh. Getting all very nice. We're gonna mix it through. Now that the cream has been added, I'm gonna turn off the heat and it needs to be completely cool before we use it in our pudding. But the one thing we do need is a little pinch of some sea salt. This is good to go. Leave it aside, let it cool down. While the salted caramel sauce is cooling, we're gonna crack on with our butterscotch pudding. Stick a pan on some heat, get in there with some Kerrygold butter and you want this to melt down before we add in some more brown sugar. It's quite similar to a caramel sauce, but we're gonna add cream and get that rich butterscotch sauce going on. Now that that sugar has melted down alongside the butter, it has gone this wonderful, rich butterscotchy color. So we're gonna loosen this out with more cream. So stir as you add, it will sizzle and it will bubble, but stick with it. Now that this has cooled down ever so slightly, turn off that heat, it's time to talk about the thickener. I've got two tablespoons of corn flour going into a very large bowl. We're gonna loosen this out. So about a tablespoon of milk going in here. Give it all a good whisk up just until you have a nice smooth corn flour mixture. Once you have a nice smooth mixture, it's time to get in there with three free range egg yolks. Nicely done. Give it a good mix through. This is nice and smooth now, so it is time to add that hot mixture. Drizzle, whisk, drizzle, whisk, repeat. Now the reason you do whisk as you go here is to ensure that you don't cook your egg yolks, otherwise you'll be left with an eggy mess and nobody wants that. Generous bit of milk going in and just stir this through. Now, tiny touch of vanilla extract. This now goes straight back into the pot and back onto the heat. This is exactly what I'm after, a nice thick butterscotch custardy kind of mixture and it's exactly what you're looking for. It's just thick enough to coat the back of a spoon like that. So now this gets transferred straight into some nice little serving glasses. You want to pour these about a quarter or so the way up. They're going to cool off in the fridge and set for about an hour or two. Right, these are looking fantastic. They now need to rest ever so slightly, cool down before they go into the fridge to set for about an hour. And that's where they're going right now. Cool from the fridge, these are now ready to be served. And to finish them off, I have a nice dollop of creme fraiche over the top. Remember, you've got really sweet butterscotch pudding here. So that little dollop of sharp creme fraiche over the top is gonna make all the difference. A nice, generous amount. And as if it needs no more, I have to finish it off with that caramel sauce. It's cooled, I've transferred it to a jar, and you just wanna take up a nice drizzle over the top of each one of these. Look at that. And that, my friends, is a serious dinner party dessert. You are gonna to have to give me a moment because I have got to try one. A Little bit of the creme fraiche, that salted caramel sauce, creamy butterscotch pudding, this is where it is at. Oh. It has that wonderful sharpness in there from the creme fraiche, but the salted caramel is what it's all about. This is serious indulgence.